Aw, oh, baby Mickey. I got my Pepino phone. Wish me luck. It's ringing. Hello. Is this Pepino Man? What is up, S.A.? Hey, it's Scott at Reindeer Studios. Yeah. CCC. Hey, listen. I got a sweet baby Mickey Mantle card. I think you might like it. Yeah? Okay, it's a... You know what? I actually don't remember what it is because this is a fake phone call and I already sent it to you in real life. But I'm thinking 825 bucks. 825 pesos? Huh. Uh, okay, sure. I'll even throw in a Mickey Mantle marker doodle for you. What now? Yeah, I think I can do that. You got a deal, sir. Hola, Super Estrellas. Welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. I got a little excited. I think I misjudged the exchange rate there. In any case, I'm pretty stoked about this one. It should be a lot of fun drawing a Mickey Mantle for Pepino Man. Cesario from the Vario wanted me to draw his rookie card and had a very fun request. It's time for... Papino man tool. I'm not one to fret heavily over numbers, but I'm very curious as to how this video is going to do, actually. I mean, it should get views because it's Mickey Mantle, but at the same time, it's not really Mickey Mantle. I imagine the YouTube sports card community will enjoy it quite a bit, but beyond that, I'm just some weirdo putting some dude's head on a Mickey Mantle body. Not a ton of universal appeal there, maybe, but uh, this isn't about the numbers as long as I'm having fun. And did I mention that I was having fun? Because I'm having fun. I watched a couple videos on how to spot a fake mantle rookie and I learned that the green under the cap is a very important tell. So I made sure to get some green under Pepino's hat there. And I am more than thrilled to do this for Caesar because he's such a great influence and friend to a lot of us. Like he shows us that the sports card videos can be very, very entertaining. I don't try to copy his style or his catchphrases unless there's good reason like today, but he's been quite an inspiration to me since I've started making my videos. He's super creative and he's just different, you know? He marches to the beat of his own drummer, except his drummer plays accordion. And on top of that, he's a really good person. So thank you, Pepino Man. I'll stop kissing your butt now. Hey, it is time for a terrible joke. So you may not know this, but Caesar and I go way back. A couple of years ago, he was having rodent problems and his cats just weren't catching them. So I went over to see if I could help. And when I got there, he had these margaritas all over the place. And I asked him, what's with all the margaritas? And he said, they're a tequila mouse. I have been making pretty good progress on these commissions lately. Again, I thank you all for your support and patience. I'm hoping to open commissions back up in the summer. I'm not quite sure if it will be for another Grail Quest or what, but I do enjoy making these commission videos, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Here's where I forge Pepino Man's signature, but don't tell him I'm going around faking his autograph. I don't want him to get mad at me. And there's the mighty Pepino Mantle. I was actually kind of worried about this one, but I really like it now that it's done. And we're getting closer and closer to my Cy Young card. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. We'll catch you next time. And as a wise man once told me, keep collecting baseball cards forever, essay.